together. We are proud of who we are and what we do. We are a founding member of the Football League. We are 1884. We are positive, inspired and passionate. We are now. We are moving together. We are ambitious and driven. We are progress. We are change. We are prepared, honest and humble. We are the highs. We are the lows. We are the heartbeat of our community. We are the famous black and white. We are the dreams come true. We are the club of opportunity. We are the memories. We are the yet to come. We are done. The bench is significantly stronger than theirs and will make change when we have to. And I can't express it enough to you. You have to gas out, you have to be brave on set pieces, right? And I brought all them in the room, so I want you to look at them. Because they're the people that work hour upon hour upon hour trying to help you all the time. And they're the people that will be there at the end of it to congratulate you and to be sorry for you. To the byline, pull back, chance! Corey Smith, first goal for Derby County! Sibley inside the area, it's Louis Sibley who makes it two! Can Derby make something happen here? Toward Collins, here's a chance! Derby have a precious second goal! Hello, welcome to the preview show from Rams TV and happy Halloween. Tonight, Derby County face Northampton Town in a league fixture for the first time since the late 1960s. It's also a chance for the Rams to get back to winning ways. Can also help them climb a couple of places back up the League One table. Only four matches tonight and one tomorrow. Second place, Oxford also in action this evening. Away to Lincoln, while Blackpool, who've slipped out of the top six, go to Fleetwood tomorrow night. Derby are five points off the playoffs now. Eight behind Oxford and 14 behind the leaders, Portsmouth. They have opened up a pretty significant gap at the top of the table. Northampton only out of the relegation zone on goal difference, though they do have two games in hand on Carlisle, who currently occupy the final relegation spot. Cheltenham have managed to drag themselves off the bottom of the table. Reading have replaced them there. Of course, tonight is all about what happens here at Pride Park Stadium. We've been talking to Derby boss Paul Warren ahead of tonight's game against Northampton and also Saturday's defeat at Stevenage. Yeah, still the same. Still the same as everyone who watched the game. We underperformed. We had moments, but not enough moments. The opposition were better than us, um, more aggressive than us. Um, and deserve their win. So my feelings are still the same, that if we're going to be successful, we have to pick points up on the road, we have to be better than that, and um, I think the lads agree. But you, you can't keep saying the same things all the time and doing the same things, because expect a different result, you're insane, aren't you? So, um, yeah, so my, my feelings are still the same. I was disappointed straight away when I come out and do my press, uh, and I understand everyone's frustration, because we have to be better than that, and, you know, we uh, all see the game the same way, I think. A phrase you hear used a lot in American sport, actually, you have to earn the right to play. Are, are you doing that enough in, in these away games at the moment? Uh, well, um, possibly not. I, I didn't think that we won the personal battles and 
It's not only that, uh, to win a football game, you have to win the personal battles, you have to be tight on throw-ins, have to be tight on set pieces, have to go with runners, you know, don't give away needless fouls. It's that part of the game that gives you an opportunity, but it's also the other part of the game that when you have the ball, you have to be brave on it. You can't um, play how the opposition play, you have to play what, what gets you success, and that is, you know, being brave on the ball, passing the ball, moving it from... Uh, middle of the pitch out wide quickly and, and being dynamic. So it's a, it's a combination of the two and um, obviously neither side of our game Saturday was sufficient to win and hence why the scoreline is what it is. I think we said this time last week it's great to have that game coming quickly on the Tuesday to put things right but would, would you like a day or two just to work on some things? Yeah you would I mean today we came in a couple of lads have got a couple of issues so it's harder to name the team um, and you obviously, after a defeat, there's more things to address. But also what you've got to try and do in a quick turnaround is you, you have to be honest and candid and you have to show them things. But if you show the lads too many things, they, what confidence they have, they, they lose. It's, there's a thin line between you know, being overcritical and undercritical. And if you have just one day to debrief and then up, not upload, but you know, prepare for the next game, it's not long. Um, so ideally if you didn't have a game till the Saturday you'd be able to work on things you could be a bit more brutal today but it's just a quick turnaround but sometimes that's a good thing you just you know wipe yourself down and think well here we go against a, a promoted team uh, which will ask us different questions however if we don't match um, and do the, the simple things well then we put ourselves under pressure so as with all games, they ask different questions, you have to have different responses, but um, we need to go out on the front foot again and, and perform and get three points. Uh, you mentioned a couple of knocks. How, how's Joe Ward doing after his return uh, the weekend? Yeah, good. He's been uh, whipping in set pieces and everything today. So, um, yeah, he looks really good. and It's nice to have him a little bit closer. And in terms of the selection for, for tomorrow, is it, is it a difficult one? You said that last week's was last Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple of uh, queries, you know, sometimes you, you feel like you need to change things, not for changing sake, but just to freshen the team up, uh, three games in a week and um, we don't play again obviously till Sunday, so um, I've got a couple that I'm, I'm chewing over at the moment. You put in a good performance last Tuesday night, will you yeah. point to that one and say, do that again and, and you'll be there or thereabouts? Yeah, well, I think um, obviously we need to go on a run. I'm, I'm stating all the. Ob I mean, no fan's going to listen to this and go, "Wow, I, he's absolutely got this on lock on." This is obvious things to say, but we need to just to back results. You just need back to back wins. And like I was speaking to a couple of my seniors today, that if you were to win uh, tomorrow night and you were to beat Barnsley, let's say, which are two. Uh, winnable games, they're all winnable, but if you're at your very best and you do win them, you might find yourself in the playoffs with a game in hand and you might think, ah, oh, uh, life looks a little bit better, but you've just got to give yourself the opportunity. So if you ever underestimate the opposition, you're in trouble. I don't think uh, the lads consciously underestimated the opposition on Saturday, but every team has, you know, suffering Something to fight for to, um, and trying to beat us. I understand that we're a scalp in this league, but you know, if we perform at the level we did on Saturday, we won't be a scalp in this league for long. Paul Warren there. More from the Derby camp later in the show. Northampton are back in League One this season after promotion back in May. They suffered a blow this week with the assistant manager Colin Calderwood leaving to take up a similar position at Southampton. Let's hear from his now former boss, the manager John Brady. Yeah, I suppose you put it correctly there. It's bittersweet. Um, obviously, we've had a great partnership together and, uh, you know, I'd consider Cole a really good friend and, um, you know, you can't deny him what a great opportunity that is for him to go and work at Southampton and, uh, you know, goes with my blessing and I wish him all the best. Yeah, there's always been speculation about him, hasn't it? Because of the, that, that's a great compliment to the level of, of coach he is. Um, he's been linked with clubs throughout his time, but obviously, as you say, it's, it's bittersweet. When a club in the position that Southampton are in comes in, you've got to say, well, I kind of understand, but obviously it's difficult. Yeah. Both ways. You, everyone understands the situation and understand, you know, the pedigree that uh, Cole has as well, you know, and... Uh, over the time, he's, you know, he's been fantastic for all of us. And uh, but we look at, you know, when I first started this journey, uh, Samo came and helped me 
uh, as well um, for the first, I think it was the first 20 games in League One. Um, really enjoyed his company and uh, he's back on board. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, you know. So, um, and, and Samo's a, would you say, a fabric of the club, really. So, um, that he'll give us everything he's got and that's part of the management team that first started, really. Just on Derby themselves, obviously, um, again, another massive, massive club at this level with, with massive expectation on them as well. A difficult place to go, but um, there's, it's a difficult place to go for them at times as well with the level of expectation. Yeah, look, uh, things like that won't really concern me uh, tomorrow night. It's how well we play and how we can implement our game, uh, you know, or ourselves on the game, and that's what we'll be focusing on doing. And, uh, you know, we've got to nullify all their uh, threats, and we know that they've got some good players and, you know, uh, a top squad for this level. But um, we believe we can compete with anyone at this level, and that's what we're looking forward to tomorrow night. Yeah, every we've seen, haven't we? Even the game so far, every league one fixture is difficult, presents its own challenges. But when you play a team like Derby and you go through their threats like you do, and you look at their individual plays and uh, and the level they've played at before, do, do you get that extra little bit of kind of fire and, and enjoyment out of that, trying to trying to stop those players? Well, this is what we're up in this level for, pitting our wits against um, all sides in this league, but especially you know. It's one of the bigger challenges uh, at this level and, uh, you know, that's what we're looking forward to. So if we can, you know, make sure either we uh, we get a point or come out on top and, you know, that's what we'll be aiming to do. Yeah, and it's a great testament to the progress you've made, isn't it? We were talking about this at the weekend, that it wasn't so long ago, that a couple of years ago, the TV cameras were down at Six Fields watching the Cobblers versus Derby because they, they sniffed a giant killing. And now you meet in the league with a, a real opportunity to go and take some points off them as well. Yeah, of course. And uh, obviously, this is what we've, like we said, Jake, we've worked hard over the last couple of years to get ourselves back in these types of positions. And obviously, it'll take a lot of hard work throughout the season to maintain that. And that's that's our aim, ultimately. And uh, that we aim to put on performance and we, uh, tomorrow night. And we know that I think we've got 12 to 1400 coming tomorrow night and we really appreciate that support and we want to make uh, our fans proud of that um, performance tomorrow night. John Brady there will like Derby, Northampton are trying to get back to winning ways tonight. They've lost three of their last four, including a two-one defeat at Bolton ten days ago. Their only positive result recently was a two-all draw with Lake Noyan last weekend. A big defeat tonight could see them drop into the relegation zone. And Northampton have bounced between Leagues 1 and 2 in the last few years. Two relegations and three promotions in the last nine seasons alone. A big night for them tonight, coming to Pride Park Stadium. Joe Ward also looking to make a Pride Park return this evening. He was finally back out on the pitch at Stevenage on Saturday, two months on from a freak injury suffered here against Oxford United in August. Yeah, it's felt, it's felt a very long time. Um, it's felt like, it felt like half a season, to be fair. So long. Um, been very frustrating. Um, because obviously I just wanted to be out there, um, you know, being part of it and that, but um, just had to be patient with it and and, um, and let it heal and stuff. So, um, yeah, I feel like I'm in a good place now and I'm, I'm ready to go. <clears throat> Paul Warner has uh, said before, and, and I've the same, I don't think I'd ever actually heard of the injury before. Can you just explain what it was you did and sort of what the process has been to rehabbing it? Yes, so I tore my um, plantar fascia. Um, so it's a little bit that basically runs down the bottom of the foot. Um, so it's partially torn. Um, and the fat pad was basically, uh, it was just like torn about basically and, and um, very bruised and stuff. So um, it was obviously getting the tear right um, and, and getting it to heal. And then it was um, sort of waiting for the for the bruising to, to heal as well, which bone bruising and, and bruising in general takes takes a long time. So, yeah, it did take a long time, but, um, yeah, it's, it's it's in a good place now. I, I guess it's the sort of injury you can't really run on. It's not as if you can keep things ticking over. So what are you doing fitness-wise while you're waiting for that process? Um, so it was a lot of off-feet sort of uh, cardio work, like um, pool work, a lot of swimming, um, a lot of, you know, I was 
doing bikes in like strapping the boot that I had on um, to the bike and stuff and um, like using the cardio machines in the gym like the rower, um, uh, the ski erg and, and the ropes and stuff. So yeah, it was just a case of um, topping up where I could and keeping it up. <clears throat> and I know injuries are part of the game and, and everyone goes through them to, to one extent or another, but the timing of it, three or four games into your career at a new club and, and it started really well, I mean, that, that must have been a real kick in the teeth for you. Yeah, that, that was the most frustrating thing, um, just because, um, you know, good pre-season, um, done well and, and was hoping to take that into the, into the start of the season. Um, and then obviously you get a, uh, an annoying injury, um, so... Yeah, very frustrating, but um, you know, I just wanted to, to get back as quick as I could and, and, and get back to doing what I was doing pre-season and get back to um, you know, getting helping the team and stuff. And there's been ups and downs for the team while you've been out. How have you found having to sit on the sidelines and not be able to help out and get involved yourself? Yeah, it's been it's been tough. Um, you know, watching watching the team lose is obviously you know, horrible. Um, you just want to be out there helping them. Um, but again, watching them and win games, it's just like, I'm delighted from. Um, and you know, you just want to be a part of it. But obviously, you just got to keep working behind the scenes and and um, you know, keep keep close with the lads and everything, and and just just um, wait for it to wait for it to sell. And then you know, you just want to be back in with them as as quick as possible and, and getting back to it. But you just got to support the team and, and do what you can, really. Was Saturday a bit of a mix of emotions for you? Delighted to be back, I'm sure, but maybe not in, in that sort of manner with, with the defeat. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was great to be back. Great feeling to be um, involved again on a match day um, you know, with, with everyone. Um, so it was good to get the minutes and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, obviously it wasn't it weren't the result we wanted. Um, you know, we've got to be better, much better. Um, and, and we will. So, um, yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have a good training session today and get back to it. That's Joe Ward, and that's all from this edition of the preview show. Rams TV returns tonight with Match Day Live from 7.15. Derby County against Northampton Town is available worldwide, including in the UK. So get your game pass now at dcfc.co.uk. We'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>